It's the Roy Rogers Show. Happy trails to you. It's nice to meet again. Happy trails to you. Until the journey's end. Oh, Sugar Crisp, the cereal treat that's fun to eat, brings you the Roy Rogers Show. Transcribed on the Double R Bar Ranch with Pat Brady and the Queen of the West, Day 11. Happy trails to you. Time to ride again. And here he is, in person, the King of the Cowboys, Roy Rogers. Well, howdy, folks. Now, before we go on, remember, Post Sugar Crisp is that swell-tasting cereal treat you can eat three ways. And talking about Sugar Crisp boys and girls, here's great news. Now you can get wonderful hand puppets of Handy, Dandy, and Candy, the Sugar Crisp Bears, and a genuine puppet theater all for yourself. So get pencil and paper ready right now, because you'll want to write down the details later on. If you were planning to go into the cattle business, the first thing you'd need would be good foundation stock for your herd. That's why Charles Ryder, new in Paradise Valley, is at the Double R Bar Ranch buying calves from Roy Rogers. Well, this one's a beauty. He'll grow into a magnificent bull. Oh, thanks. You've got a mighty good eye for a calf, Mr. Ryder. Well, those two are loaded and reasonably happy. Hey, Roy, that calf ain't for sale, is it? No, Mr. Ryder just looking him over. I've got to have this calf, Rogers. I'll give you 250 <laughs> Sorry, but I'm giving him away. Giving him away? Sure. He's our donation to the annual Mineral City Calf Scramble. What in the world is a calf scramble? Well, a lot of the kids around here are interested in becoming ranchers, and every spring we line them all up on one side of a big field and turn loose about half as many calves from the other side. Yeah, and any kid who's lucky enough to rope and tie a calf gets to keep him. And doggone if it ain't about the liveliest shenanigans you'd ever see. Well, sounds like fun, all right, but uh, why don't you just donate a call instead of the best bull calf in your herd? Listen, the calves mean a lot to the kids who get them. Some of the stock from the scrambles have gone on to win prizes and fat stock shows. Yeah, and some of them have grown to be grand champion bulls and great producing cows. And if you don't think that raising a winner sets them little sprouts up, boy, you've got enough to think of coming. You mean to tell me that the youngsters who are lucky enough to get a calf wouldn't be just as happy with uh, any old thing they got? Mr. Ryder, they judge them as carefully before the scramble as you're doing now. And getting started with a fine animal has had a hand in making many a fine stockman. Well, Roy, a lot of these youngsters seem to like your calf. I think he's a good one. This is sure fun, isn't it, Dale? Yeah. Hey, pardon me, sir, but could you tell me the breeding on this calf? Oh, mm. yes, he's uh, by grand champion double R bar domino supreme out of Admiral's favor. He is? Sure. You want to see his pedigree? Well, mister, if he's by domino, I know he's pedigree backwards. Hey, are you Roy Rogers? That's me, and this is my friend, Dale Evans. Hi. Gosh, well, I'm Jackie Warns, and that's the calf I'm going to get. Jackie, almost all of the boys are bigger than you are, and there are not enough calves to go around, you know. Well, don't worry about me, ma'am. When I set my mind on something, I get it. <laughs> well, that's the spirit, Jackie, and good luck to you. Are you new here in Paradise Valley? No, nah, but we live way off in the eastern corner. My dad's dead. I've been taking care of my mom ever since I was five. Why, that's wonderful of you, Jackie. How old are you now? Eight and a half. All right, you kids, pay attention now. I want you to get over behind that white line on the other side of the field. And don't none of you cross it until the signal. The first gunshot is for the men to let the calves loose. And the second one is for you kids to do what you can about it. Everybody get ready now and good luck to all of you. Hey, Mr. Rogers, in another two minutes I'll own that calf. Gee, I hope so, Jackie. Couldn't think of a better owner for him. Remember now, Domino Supreme the second. When I come running for you, you wait. So long. So long. <laughs> Roy, what a wonderful little kid. You bet he is, Dale. Hey, Roy, 
They're waiting for the calves. Want me to help you take him over? Sure, if you want to, Pat. Although he's pretty well behaved. Boy, he'll kick up his heels plenty when he gets in with them other rampaging doggies. You know, the kid who ropes and ties him is going to have to be pretty good. <laughs> yeah. You missed it, Pat. There's a youngster named Jackie Warrens who's really got his eye on that calf. Oh, you mean that little sprout has scooted off for the start line just as I came up? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Put him in the chute over there, Roy. And Bill, you stick your critter in next to Roy. Okay, Sheriff. Everything's about set. It sure is. And my Uncle Fred used to have a saying... Time and tide wait for no man. And I guess you might say it applies to a calf scramble. Uh, you might say it, but I wouldn't. <laughs> you know, Sheriff, your Uncle Fred must have been sort of a character. Oh, he was a fine fella. All right, men. Everybody got your calves in the chute? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now so. remember, the first shot's a signal to release the calf. You kids over there! You all ready? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Roy, look at those kids come. They're steamed up all right. Do you see Jackie? No, the other kids are all so big. Wow, what a scramble. Hey, I see him. He spotted our calf and he's heading for him. Sure enough. Why, he's outrunning those bigger kids. Hey, did you see that loop he threw on that calf? Boy, that kid's all right. He sure is. Oh, but he's too small to throw him. Roy, Roy, he's being dragged. What? He is, Roy. He's down. He can't handle that calf. Hey, I'm going out there. That youngster's in trouble. Hurry, Roy. Hurry. Hey, Jackie. Jack, let go of him, son. Let go. Leave me alone, mister. I can handle him. There's one foot. But you're all scraped up. I ain't allowed to have any help. And I don't need him. There's two feet. By golly, you're doing it. You're tying that calf. For sure. And there's three feet. That's great work, Jackie. Now let me carry you out of here. Nothing doing. Not till the judges tell me this is my calf. Well, I'm one of the judges, and I'll guarantee he's yours. Here, let me give you a hand. Oh, gosh, my arm. Jackie, I'm sorry. What's the matter? Well, nothing. Only when you touched my hand, it felt like knives sticking in my arm and my shoulder and neck, too. We'll get you to the doctor right away. You had a rough time with this calf, but I think you'll be all right. Well, I got the calf. That's the main thing. <laughs> Hi there, Dale. Oh, hi, Rogers. Howdy, hi, Mr. Ryder. Roy. I'll be ready to close up as soon as Mr. Ryder finishes. He's the last customer. Oh, fine. Say, I'll have a glass of milk while I'm waiting. How they going, Mr. Ryder? Fine, Rogers. Just fine. Those calves I sold you grown up all right? <laughs> Been so busy, just haven't had a chance to check. Well, I haven't any complaint at all. Here you are, Roy. Thanks, Dale. In fact, it uh, looks like I'm going to get the young bull I really wanted. Which one's that? You know, the one you donated to the calf scramble. I'm going to buy him from the youngster who won him. What? Oh, little Jackie Warns? Hey, Roy, we haven't heard anything from the Warns in about four months. Oh, we haven't at that. And busy or not, we've got to ride out there someday soon and see how they're getting along. Ryder, you mean Jackie's willing to sell that young bull? Well, he isn't willing to, but his mother's talking him into it, and the kid's in bad shape. Hmm? What's that? That army hurt in the calf scramble. It isn't coming around at all. In fact, you can't even use it. Oh, Roy, why didn't Mrs. Warrens let us know? Oh, well, she should have. We thought he was all right. We'll get out there right away and see what we can do. Oh, uh, she's got a lot of pride, I guess. Hasn't even been near a doctor lately because they can't afford it. Well, that sounds like a job for Lee White. I'm going to call her right this minute. Lee White? Who's she? She's in charge of the mobile clinic. The Easter Seal Society operates in Paradise Valley. Excuse me. Mr. Ryder, I don't know what you offered Jackie for that calf, but I'd like to ask you to withdraw the offer until we see what's what. Why coddle the kid, Rogers? The sooner he faces the fact that he's going to be a cripple, the better off he'll be. Well, I don't agree with you at all. Everyone has to face some tough breaks in a lifetime, but everyone has a right to fight back, too. And with an outfit like the Easter Seal Society to help, it's a lot easier. <laughs> Back to Roy in a jiffy. First, here's exciting news. Now you can put on your own puppet shows in a colorful puppet theater. You can get lifelike hand puppets of Handy Dandy and Candy, the three sugar crisp bears. Imagine, these puppets are beautifully made, each with its own name printed across the chest. Put your hand inside and their heads, arms, and feet move. They act exactly as you want. They're in costume, too. Handy is a Mr. Fix-It. He's got a fasten-on hat, a carpenter's apron, and a real hammer. 
Dandy's the well-dressed man with bowler hat, walking cane, fancy vest. Sister Candy has a feathered beret, shopping bag, and housewife's apron. Here's how to get them. You can get any one puppet you choose, handy, dandy, or candy, for only 35 cents plus one sugar crisp box top. And name the puppet you want so you'll get the right one. Or better yet, for one dollar and three sugar crisp box tops, you get all three puppets plus a brilliantly colored sugar crisp theater for staging plays, plus extra hats and musical instruments. All this for one dollar and three sugar crisp box tops. So send money in box tops to Sugar Crisp, Box 8669, Chicago 77, Illinois. Now write that down. Sugar Crisp, Box 8669, Chicago 77, Illinois. Send for your puppets today. Roy Rogers donates a magnificent Hereford calf to the annual calf scramble. Little Jackie warns the smallest youngster participating wins the calf but is hurt in doing so. And months later, word comes from a far corner of Paradise Valley that Jackie has lost the use of his injured arm. Roy, I hardly know what to try on Jackie next. I'm sure his arm would respond if he'd exercise it correctly, but well, the therapy is painful. Well, I shouldn't think you'd have any trouble with a kid with as much spunk as Jackie has, Miss White. I shouldn't think so either, Lee. Why, he's as game as they come. No, he isn't anymore. After all, he's only nine years old, and well, he's been through a lot of pain and worry, and, well, it just got him down. He's still interested in the calf, isn't he? Well, he's still afraid he's going to have to sell it. His mother thinks it's wrong to accept charity. Well, I've never given up on a youngster yet, but I certainly don't know what to do about Jackie. When are you going to see him again, Lee? No, I won't be out there again until Monday. Well, Sir Pat and I'll call on Jackie before then. We'll convince him that he's got to do what you say and that he isn't accepting charity. Take a bow, Trigger. You take one, too, Bullet. Well, we haven't got a band to play you off, but you're through now. <laughs> oh, boy, they're wonderful, Roy. Sure wish I could clap for them. Never mind about that. Got the targets ready, Pat? Sure thing, Roy. Okay, watch this now, Jackie. Pat's going to throw eight little clay balls in the air at once, and I'm going to try to break them all before they come down. Ah, go on. You can't do that. Well, you just watch. Let him go, Pat. All right. Now! Ah, oh, you did it. You smashed every one of them before they hit the ground. How'd you do it? Takes a lot of practice. Boy, it sure does, Jackie. I've been practicing all my life, and the most I ever got was seven. Sure glad you fellas came out. Practically forgot how much my arm hurts. Jackie, uh, what would you like to be more than anything else in the world? I'd like to be well. Uh, we mean after you're well. Never will be. Oh, forget that a minute. Let's say your left arm was just as good as your right arm, and you could be anything you wanted. What would it be? Well, the best thing in the whole world would, would be to be a rancher and a cowboy. Well, a cowboy doesn't get very far unless he can use two guns. Yeah, I guess not. And there isn't any reason why you can't learn to draw from both holsters. You're doggone right there ain't. You just do exactly what Miss White tells you, and that left arm's going to be fine. Well... I'll make you a deal, Jackie. You follow Miss White's instructions, and I'll teach you to shoot. Yeah, but, but Mom says... And forget the idea you're accepting charity. Folks buy Easter seals to help people like you, and it's a pleasure to do it. Hey, you're getting lots of company today, Jack. Oh, golly, it's Mr. Ryder. I bet he still wants Domino. And I'll bet you don't have to sell him either. We've talked to your mother and everything's all set. Whoa, whoa there, Ginger, whoa. Well, Rogers, Brady, paying a call on our young friend, huh? Sure, Mr. Ryder. We've been having a great time. I came to talk to you and your mother again, Jackie. I like you both. I'm going to pay you more for your young bull than he's worth. Well, we've decided he isn't for sale, Mr. Ryder. Uh, your mother won't feel that way when she sees a thousand dollars. A thousand? Well, that bull's worth a good ten thousand, Ryder, and you know it. Nonsense. Well, how about it, Jackie? Want to go up to the house with me and settle a deal? Nope. Domino's staying right here. Now, look, kid, I don't want to hurt your feelings. 
But a hopeless cripple has got to let other people decide things for him. Get off that horse, Ryder. Hey, you take your hands off me, Ryder. Let me sock him, Roy. We'll skip that for now, Pat. But, Ryder, I don't ever want to hear you talk to Jackie like that again. You mean you're giving this kid a line of guff that he's going to get well? I said don't talk that way. Oh. You're going to fight back? No, I... Well, in that case, get on your horse and get out of here. Jackie doesn't want to talk to you, and neither does Mrs. Warren's. And the bull's stand right here. You'll find out, Rogers. I've offered as much as I'm going to. But I'm going to own that bull. If it's for me, I ain't too busy, Dale. Good morning, Eureka Cafe. Dale, this is Lee White. Do you have any idea where Roy is? Why, yes, he's right here, Lee. Oh, may I speak to him? It's terribly important. Well, sure. It's Lee White for you, Roy. Oh, it ain't for me. She's awfully excited about something here. Thanks. Hello, Lee. This is Roy. Roy, I've just been out at the Warren's place. I had to drive ten miles to reach your phone. What's the matter? Jackie's bull is gone. Mrs. Warren's thinks it was stolen. Well, if that bull was stolen, I have an idea who's... But, Roy, that's only part of it. Jackie's gone. You mean Jackie's gone out looking for the bull? Yes. One of the neighbors saw him early this morning headed in the direction of Sandstone Canyon on foot. Lee, get back to the Warren's just as soon as you can. Dale will join you there. Just don't let Mrs. Warren sign a paper of any sort... For anyone. Pat and I will see what we can do about finding Jackie. All right, Roy. Goodbye. Roy, what's the matter? For gosh sakes, they having trouble at the Warrens? Jackie's bull's been stolen, and he's headed for Sandstone Canyon to try to find him. Stolen? Well, if he is, I bet I know who done it. I've got the same hunch. The rider won't have much use for that bull unless he has the pedigree. And he can't get a pedigree without a bill of sale. Roy, Mrs. Warrens was ready to sell that bull a couple of months ago. Well, that was a couple of months ago. You're to meet Lee White at the Warrens just as soon as you can, Dale. See to it that Mrs. Warrens doesn't sign anything. Yeah, and you and me are heading right out to Sandstone Canyon to try to find Jackie, huh? You bet we are. That kid's in no shape to even be in that kind of country, let alone to face a person like Charlie Ryder. Back to Roy in a minute, but don't forget those Sugar Crisp puppets. For 35 cents and one Sugar Crisp box top... Get either handy, dandy, or candy, or all three puppets plus theater for only one dollar and three box tops. Send money in box tops to Sugar Crisp, Box 8669, Chicago 77, Illinois. And remember, as a cereal, it's dandy. For snacks, it's so handy. Or eat it like candy. Post Sugar Crisp. Plenty of fresh tracks, Pat. There's been at least one horse and one youngster on foot here in the past 12 hours. The other tracks must be the bull. Come on, let's go. How long ago did Ryder leave, Mrs. Warren? At least two hours ago. He said if I'd sign the bill of sale, the bandits would let Jackie go. The bandits are something Ryder made up, Mrs. Warren. Oh, you don't suppose he'll hurt my boy, do you? We'll do our best to find Roy before it's too late. But how will you ever locate him in that sandstone canyon country? <laughs> a bullet. As soon as Lee saddles a horse, we've got to find Roy. Do you understand? We've got to find Roy. <laughs> Now, quit carrying on, youngster. That bull's mine now. You stole him. You tricked my mother into signing the paper. If I could use my arm, I'd beat you up. Now, quit talking that way, youngster. Your arm certainly ain't getting any better. Well, it will get better. Hey, wait. What's that? Two horses coming up the trail. Where? Yeah. Well, it's Roy Rogers and Pat Brady. Now you get what's coming to you, Mr. Ryder. Hey, Roy! Help! Help! Hold it, kid. Hey, Roy! All right, that's perfect. They heard you, and you'll lead them right into a trap. Now, I'll gag you so you can't warn them away. <laughs> I'll see. I'll just tie your right arm and right leg to the tree. You certainly aren't going to pick any knots loose with your left hand. Uh, you've led your friends into real trouble, kid. When they reach you, I'll have the drop on them from behind that big rock. Uh, as soon as they throw down their guns, I'll come out and make them back up. I'll back them to the edge of a sandstone cliff. It'll crumble and throw them a thousand feet into the canyon below. And if they decide not to back up, 
Well, I got enough bullets in this rifle for Rogers and for Brady and for you. Oh, Buster. Oh. We'll have to dismount and climb the rest of the way, Pat. Hey, Jackie's voice came from right up there. I know it did. I can't understand why he just called twice and then quit. We can't stop to figure it out now. He's in trouble and we've got to get to him. Just a couple more feet now, Pat. Hey, Roy. There he is. There's Jackie. Tied to the tree and gagged. Come on, Pat. Jackie. Jackie. You're going to be all right, fella. We'll get this gag out of your mouth and get that arm and leg untied. Freeze where you are, Rogers. What? You too, Brady. That voice, it's Ryder. Come on, hands in the air, hands in the air. There, Jackie, at least you can talk. Oh, gosh, Roy. Come on, come on. You can't see me, but I got a direct beat on you. I'll shoot in three seconds. Now, that's better. Now, follow my instructions. Roy, isn't there something we can do? We'll see, Jackie. We'll have to go along with him for now. All right, Ryder, tell us about it. All right, Rogers, keep both your hands in the air. Brady, keep one hand up and take the gun out of your right holster with the other. Roy? Go ahead, Pat. Well... Throw it down. Now throw your other gun on the ground. Ah. Uh... Mr. Ryder's still down on Roy, and he made Mom sign a bill of sale for him. Don't worry, Jackie. We'll get things straightened out. Now, Brady, keep one hand up and take Rogers' guns away from him. Don't touch the rope on that kid. <laughs> My next shot won't be just a warning. Now, go ahead. Throw Roger's guns down. Yeah, I'm sorry, Roy. Now, start backing up, both of you. We'll have to do as he says. He's pretty itchy with that gun. There, you see? It's a simple matter for one man to outsmart, too. Now, start backing up toward the edge of that cliff. Hey, Roy, don't. That ledge is crumbly sandstone. Go on, back up, back up. The minute you stop walking, I'll shoot. What do you think, Roy? Back up, but go slow. You see, this whole thing's going to be an accident. You got too close to the ledge and it gave way under you. Well, don't forget, Mr. Ryder. I'm seeing the whole thing. I want you to see it. And after you've seen it, I'm going to untie you and throw you down there with him. Let's rush him, Roy. We're too far away, Pat. He'd get either Jackie or us. Keep backing, keep backing. Roy, look at Jackie. What's he doing? He's reaching for something. He's fumbling for our guns. But it's his bum hand. The good one's tied up. Don't stop. Back up, back up. Hey, Roy, the ledge is starting to give. I'll get you, Ryder. Oh. Hey, Roy, Jackie shot the gun right out of Ryder's hand. Good boy, Jackie. Come on, Pat, scrap. Oh, my wrist, my wrist. Oh. Never mind your wrist, Ryder. You've got more than that to worry about. Oh. Right. Pat, get Jackie oh, untied quick. Right, Roy. Jackie, how'd you ever fire that gun? That was your bum hand. Well, I had to do it, Pat. I just had to. How'd that kid? Good arm was tied. He's got two good arms, Ryder, because he's got real courage. Wait. And that's something you haven't got. Roy. Cully, you sure beat him up. Well, if anyone ever had it coming, he did. You know, I don't see how you did it, Jackie. Boy, you saved our lives. Hey, Roy, that's your dog. Roy, Pat, we've got to find Charlie Ryder. He made Mrs. Warren sign a bill of sale. Oh, we've already found him, Dale. Yeah, we've found him and stopped him cold. Thanks to Jackie. Jackie, Jackie, what happened? Are you all right? Ah, oh, sure, Miss White. You weren't worried about me, were you? Oh, Jackie. Jackie's one young fellow you aren't going to have to worry about anymore. He really showed us he's got what it takes. Boy, he sure did. You know what he's done with that left arm of his? And... With his left arm? Oh, Jackie, are you using it again? Well, sure. Roy told me to do whatever Miss White said. Jackie made a shot with that half-well left hand that any cowpoke would be proud to make with a perfect right. <laughs> Folks, the Easter Seal campaign is on right now. Easter Seals make it possible to do wonderful things for crippled children and adults. And your contribution will help. Before we close, remember that Post Sugar Crisp is the cereal treat that's fun to eat three ways. And boys and girls, don't forget to send away for handy, dandy, and candy the wonderful Sugar Crisp puppets we've told you about. You'll have real fun with them. This is Roy Rogers saying to all of you from all of us, goodbye, good luck, and may the good Lord take a liking to you. The Roy Rogers Show can be heard again next week at this same time with Pat Brady, Dale Evans, and the king of the cowboys himself, Roy Rogers. An Art Brush production written and directed by Fran Van Hardisfeld and music by Milton Charles. Come and get it! Come and get it! 
for quick two-minute energy for work and play, how about Grape Nuts Flakes? How about them, how about them, how about those Grape Nuts Flakes? How about those Grape Nuts Flakes? How about them, how about them, how about those Grape Nuts Flakes? They are so good, good for you, too. The two-minute energy works for you, so how about them, how about them? How about Grape Nuts Flakes? Grape Nuts Flakes is one of the triple-wrapped post cereals. Guaranteed fresh or triple your money back. Look for Grape Nuts Flakes, the great two-minute energy cereal in the package with Roy Rogers and Trigger on the front. Featured in our cast were Frank Hemingway, Herb Butterfield, Alvina Temple, Sammy Ogg, Isabel Jewell, and Tyler McVeigh. This is Art Ballinger speaking for Post Sugar Crisp. Stay tuned for the latest news brought to you by Log Cabin Syrup. 